about developing uh, measurable outcomes or objectives, uh, it's important to remember that it is a building block. For example, writing skills would be another example. You might have uh, six or seven topics such as focus, supporting details, coherence, word choice, sentence fluency, conventions, and then you have the concepts that you're going to have focus on related to those topics. So you might have uh, for example, under coherence, is the organizational pattern of the student's writing? Is it logical and does it convey wholeness? This would be an example of having a concept that was at the synthesis level. Uh, word choice, do they use effective language and appropriate word choice for the audience? So it could certainly be at the evaluation level where they're having to make decisions and on it goes. So there's different topics and concepts but thinking about it in that way not only enables you to focus your instruction, but gives the students a clear uh, view of what is expected of them. And we think about linking course to program outcomes. It's important to remember, as I indicated earlier, that a course is just a part of the curriculum. And understanding how your course and your course objectives support your program outcomes is both content and pedagogy. So you may have a writing class, but you actually have students do a team project. So even though the, the course focuses on writing, you have the ability to support the program outcomes. That relates to producing graduates or students who are getting ready to graduate who can work effectively in a team. <laughs>